there's a street glide on the channel now. Buying, buying the street glide type of thing. If you ride it, you will buy one. the video guys we're here with the coolest white guy now jerry jerry do you know what I'm saying, man come on jerry, jerry. there we go all right guys so you read the title there's a street glide on the channel now it's not my street glide though it's jerry's street glide so congrats dude after sitting here month after i think it's pretty it's pretty almost, I think it's been almost a year of, of going back and forth of saying, new will I be, yeah. will I be trading in my street glide for the new street glide or a road glide? And it was always yes, and then it was no, and then it was yes, and it was mm. no, and then it was yes, and it was no. It was like a roller coaster with you. Yeah. Well, like I said, I have so much into my old bike. Well, we, before we get into that, congratulations, officially. The bike is beautiful. I'm happy with the color you chose. Mm -hmm. it's, my, it's the color I would have gone with. Um, the bike looks absolutely beautiful, man. Um, surprised because I know you did mention that a few times you also wanted to go with a road glide. Yeah. But then you ended up going with a street glide. I test drove both and that's when I made my decision. Okay. So, why? why? Why go from your old street glide, your outgoing, not old, your outgoing model. My 2018. To, yeah, yeah to, to the new one. Um... Like I said, I test drove it, and then I was like sold. Like, like I test drove this one and the Road Glide. I like this because this felt more lighter and nimble. The, I mean, when you're moving, the Road Glide is, you know, seems lighter. But when you take it off the stand and moving it around, it's heavier. Yeah. You know, that's that's a fact. And, um, you know, I just like I just like the new fairing. I like the new tack. I like a lot of things on this bike. And then when I rode it, I was like, you know what? It's worth. Like I didn't think it was worth it to jump. And then I'm like. I think it's worth it, even though I lost a ton because I had so much invested in my other bike. Um, now, real quick, because because you're old school, Jerry. Mm -hmm. You're old school, and you just mentioned the lights and the tech. So, from a, a person from your age group, mm -hmm. most riders are like against change and techy stuff, and they just want the old stuff. From your perspective, what what is it about the tech and the lights and this and that that well, kind of the gauges I can see better because I had white gauges on my bike, so they were harder to see. Yeah, I mean, not that they were that hard to see, but they were just this is so much better, and the lighting and the engine and the suspension. And granted, I had a 114 stage four. I think at 121 horsepower, 122 pounds of torque at the rear wheel, so my bike was quick. Yeah, but the modes on this thing. Yeah. And the lean angle, uh, the hill assist, a lot of this stuff, like the riding home in the pouring rain on Wednesday, the uh, I needed that freaking traction control with the the, the rain mode yeah. because I actually did slide a little bit. And your your bike does, or your your eighteen doesn't come with that. No, my eighteen just had ABS. Yeah, that bike I was whew, between that ape hang, the, the high ape hangers and everything, I'd be all over the. I was praying on the way to the dealer, please don't let me crash. <laughs> so, so is it safe to say that the new model is beyond, and it, and it blows out the other bike out of the water? I would say so. The hype, because I was like, oh, it's just hype. It's just hype. I don't, don't, don't believe the hype. But then it's not. not. The hype is real. The hype is real. <laughs> is the that good? Is, it's it, that is, good. is the new model that good? It's, me, I mean, I had a three. I just put three thousand dollars worth of suspension on my other bike, yeah. Legends front and rear. Mm -hmm. And this I, thing rides. I feel, I feel like we both did the same thing. We yeah. Put, we put suspension so, on. <laughs> I, I just did the front suspension and the rear suspension. And I'm like, can I take that off? And they're like, no. I'm like, oh, crap. Yeah. So I do. That, I, that one stung a little for me. Yeah, like, that did sting. Damn. That was the biggest thting, I think, yeah. of all. You know. But is, is, it, is it that much better than that? To me, it is. To me, it is. So what, what was it? All right. So that's what I kind of want to get to the bottom of because. 
you were very hesitant and you were it was like a roller coaster ride it was every week yes no yes no yes no and and we already got the one thing out of the way you had a lot invested into that bike the same way i had mm. a lot invested into yeah. mine but be, besides that what was the only thing keeping you back my wife <laughs> she was like no no you got because she knew how much money i had into the other bike and i had it seven years so that was my 50th anniversary present yeah. 50th birthday present i'm sorry and, and, and you also said a bunch of times you're like i would never get rid of this bike i love this bike it's yeah. my favorite bike of all time yeah well it was and then it wasn't and then it was again I'm, I'm honestly i'm happy for you i'm really happy you went with this i think th this bike and i i've just been going telling people back to back to back mm -hmm. how good the new rogue glide and street glide is and and they're like, well, is it that good? Is it that much better? Ride it. Is it that much better? I mean, honestly, like, there's like everybody's like, oh, yeah, everybody's like, it's hype because all the influencers are hyping it up. But they're, they're right. A lot of guys, a lot of influencers tell you, if you ride it, you will buy one. I rode it, and a week later, I bought one. Yeah. I just couldn't get it out of my mind. Like, and I only went like on a three mile ride. I, I hate that. I hate how people keep saying that. It's like, oh, well, these YouTubers are saying this. Yeah. And this. I'm like, Dude, like I'm, I'm not gonna say something. Me, I'll, I'll speak for myself. I'm not gonna speak for anybody else out there. But and you know how I am. I'm not gonna sit here and and, and tell you something that that's not true. Yeah. And I'm very black and white where where everything, and especially even when it comes to Harley. Like when I don't like something, I've let it be known plenty of times. Well, we sat in this garage for years and talked about what we wanted in the bike, and Harley gave it to us. Yeah. I mean, thank God, thank you, Harley, for listening to us. I mean, finally, I got LEDs, and I, <laughs> I got all the other stuff, but I love it. I mean, like yeah. I said, I just, you know, just, and it's not like I get anything, like, I don't get anything from Harley Davidson, or I don't have a channel, I don't have, I mean, I, this is my hard-earned money. This is, yeah. this is me going out and spending my hard-earned money getting the bike or whatever, and I had to trade in two bikes to get it, so. And which bikes were those? The 2018 um, Street Glide Anniversary and the uh, 2023 Sports Duress. And then you have one bike left. Of, well, you got another. You have the uh, the Triumph. The Triumph, right? To go to back and forth to work. I'm not taking this bike to work. I'm not. Gonna, I I realized from when we were doing the suspension on my bike, as much as I cleaned that bike and everything, when he took everything off to do the suspension, how how bad my bike was from driving all year round in the bad weather to work. Well, you also never wash your bike. Well, I wash my bike, but not, you know. Yeah. It was bad. Your bike is always filthy. Yeah. Like they said at the dealership, well, your bike needs a full detail. You need a rear tire and you need a, a service. Yeah. And then I was also going to have to change the bars because I can't, with the, the yeah. my shoulder now, as I'm getting older, my shoulder, I can't do the high bars anymore. Well, you, you I think you honestly look a lot happier on this bike. Yeah. It, it, it seems like you're happier. Yeah, I am. I'm I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you're still like, uh, you, you had some sentimental value with that blue bike. Cause... Like I said, in the last, in the last money I just dumped in, like not even last yeah, month, yeah. that stung. Yeah, that stung. But like, if you could get over that, it's like, well, it's can't, I can't take it with me. So. I, listen, you, you, people were like, uh, when, when, when I traded in my Rogue Life for the Low Rider ST. Yeah. People were like, well, dude, like that bike was so nice. That bike was so clean. And you put so much into it. I'm like. I, I'm, I'm going to tell you the number one thing I tell a lot of people. You can't get attached to materialistic yeah. things. Mm -hmm. That's it what my wife what always is. says. And I, but she, you know, the funny thing is she kind of like, I think it's more because of the outlay of what I put into it. But the older bikes are depreciating day by day too. And I'm like, I, I really want the new tech. I want the new ride. Which honestly, that was one of my uh, main things at, at this point. I was like, you know what? I... The way my bike is set up right now, I could probably get top dollar for it. I mm -hmm. need to sell it now because if I wait another year from now, two years, mm -hmm. I'm gonna get that same money. Yeah. The, 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 I mean, that's the, the sad truth. You're gonna keep depreciating. Well, if I get top dollar for it now, I'll do it. I mean, I, the money you put in, you're never gonna get back. Of course. And, that, and that that's a mistake I made or whatever. And granted, certain things I don't regret doing. Like, I don't regret doing the engine because I got, a, I got like a 47% increase in power. I regret doing the handlebars. I regret doing like the lowers because I could have just put soft lowers on and I regret the tour pack but like other stuff I don't anything else I did to that bike I don't regret and why I do you regret the tour of, pack it like you you notice when you ride it it's the, the weight and everything like I actually have a better setup with 
the, uh, the dry bags and the, uh, the bags on the back. I can, my wife even likes the bags because she can put all her stuff in one bag instead of messing with multiple bags inside the tour pack or not having enough room or yeah. sitting there, to, you know. And like you said, the weight difference is different. I, I noticed the weight. A few yeah. times when I took your bike around, I'm like, oh, yeah. I, You're I, like no, I noticed that weight really, really quick yeah. like, right in those terms. And my, it wasn't even fully loaded. When I go on vacation yeah. with my wife, it's fully loaded. Yeah. But uh, I mean, if you get get a, a, a luggage rack, I have a luggage rack and a sissy bar. Put put a bag. And on we it. have all the bags, so we're good. You're good. Yeah. Um. Well, what 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 are some of your your favorite things about it? I know you you spoke about the gauge, the tech. The gauges, I like uh, the ride modes. I really do like. It's not hokey. It's not at all. Yeah. Because ride, like it's I different. said, when I picked this bike up, it was pouring rain, and I had brand new tires, and I got on Route 80, and I was, you know, it, it was a little sketchy because you people don't see mode. you. You know, yeah, I put it in rain mode and like I said, one guy cut me off in a Jeep. I almost like, you know, locked it up or whatever, but it just caught and then, you know, I mean, I think if I was on my other bike, it would have not been good. Yeah. So, and, and I wasn't going fast. I don't think I got a third gear. So. Really? Yeah. yeah. But, um, um, so that, talking about going fast, you, you got the 117 on here mm -hmm. now from factory. So smooth. So very, very, very smooth. Very smooth. It's so, I love the 117. I mean, yeah. especially. These now. I mean, I don't even know if I'm doing. I, I we were talking. Me and Mike were talking about a cam yesterday and stuff like that. But we're not. I'm not sure. Not not this year. Maybe maybe next year. Oh, for sure. You have maybe to. down the road probably. You have to. Win. So we were just talking about basic, like I'm doing cosmetic stuff, like you know the crash bars and the Harley engine, crash bars, and the Harley ones with the wheels. I want those. Uh, Very cool. You know, right now I'm just putting highway pegs on. I put the docking hardware on. I got the sissy bar to rack. Seat. I'm gonna do a seat. I'm waiting for Saddleman to come out with the seat so because uh, Mike called them they're not sure if they have the new ones yet so and uh, oh this is major I'm doing uh, clockworks windshield once they're available I don't know if they're available or not my salesman was trying to push me for the Harley one but I'm like they have the world's tall one uh, available I right might now. get that one I don't I gotta see you know Americate's coming up and so I'll probably just go to look at them in the vendors up there sweet so, because I'll be up there during America, so I'll just see what the vendors have. Because I really want to look at it before I just buy it. Yeah. Make sure it's the right height for me. I think the taller one would be because I'm tall, but I don't want it being in my line of vision. So. But the color, because I know no, we. Uh... Well, the color was another thing. We went. I went back and forth, back and forth. I wanted the burst blue, because, but then my wife was. Burst blue. Like, you told me the burst, burst blue. Like, the burst blue is nice, but. The burst blue is nice, and, I'm, and I'm a blue guy, but my wife was like, that's so close to what you have. So, like, what to her, it didn't make sense because she doesn't really know about the tech and all the other yeah. stuff. I mean, she knows it looks different, but she doesn't know. She's like, yeah, it's almost the same color, it's a little darker. So then I thought about the shark skin, which she liked, which I liked. Shark skin's nice. I was really crazy about it. I was crazy about it in the beginning, but then I'm saying, like, saying to myself, like, I was crazy about the gunship gray. And then after I sold my lowrider, I'm like, I don't really care for the color because I see it everywhere. Yeah. So it's almost like a black bike because you see it everywhere. So then I'm like, eh. And then the, 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 the shark skin has like a, it doesn't, it has a shine to it, but it doesn't have like a metal flake. Yeah. And I walked up on this in the sun, and it has a metal flake but to dude, it. But dude, I was talking about the white. The oh, water, yeah. I'm like, listen, oh, the white is God. the way to go. The white is I such a beautiful it. color. You, this thing in the sun, oh, it's just, I really love it. They, they said the red, too. Everybody was saying the whiskey fire, but I'm not really a whiskey red guy. Whiskey fire is nice, too, in person. I was telling you. I know, but I'm not really a red guy. Yeah. So. But, um, yeah, man. Jerry got a brand new Street Glide 2024. I got the new Tobacco Fade Lowrider ST. Happy man, I'm happy on my bike. I'm happy. I'm happy for you with your bike too. I think it was a better. I think it's a better fit. For me. Yeah. Why? Just you fit better on the low rider. You just you know it, it's more you, and you want you want an ST ever since they came out. Yeah. Like if the ST would have came out, you would have never got the Road Glide. Because you bought yours in 21, 22, yeah. they came out. Yeah. If it would have came out the same year, there, there would have been no Road Glide. It would have been an ST right from the get. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Definitely, because that that's you. I mean, everyone's been saying that I do that. That bike fits you like a glove. Yeah. You know, it's like it's the bike it's for you. It's the bike goes. Well, everybody told me, "Oh, get a road glide, get a road glide." I had a road glide. I had a '19 road glide special, all black. But I'm a street glide guy, and I like, I really like this fairing. I like the fairing on the road glide. I just don't like the cock, the cockpit. Mm. Like I don't like those those draws with the push button thing. Yeah. I like your older ones better where you lift. Yeah. 
I, I like. I'd like I, to draw. I like draw the push awesome. around here is awesome. I keep forgetting my phone in there now. Though. Yeah. I'm like, I get in the house. I'm like, where the hell's my phone? But even the the oh, eyelids right it. here. Uh, you guys. I actually miss my fairing mirrors too. Yeah. Yeah. You, you guys really got to see this bike if you're ever out and you see one and it's dark out and there's mm -hmm. one coming from behind you. It's so cool to see because all you see is the light right in the front and then you see like the winglets like all wings, lit up. Yeah. It's like a it's like a lit up eagle coming at you from behind. It's, yeah. It looks so awesome, man. I love it. Really, I really cool. Do. I love the front fender because I had the big fender on my old bike and stuff. Pretty awesome, man. Anything else you want to add about your uh, your new bike? No, yeah, more to come. We'll be doing some accessories and stuff. And Pretty cool, man. Adding stuff just like you were. Awesome. Well, not as much as you are, but a little bit. Congrats. I mean, you really don't have to do much to this bike. You really don't. Nah, nah, you don't. I mean, if you just want to customize it, make it yours, yeah. obviously. But, but if way. you just want to ride it, you can ride it. You don't from have factory, to buy stuff. Yeah. From factory is perfect. It's, yeah. it's even the little rubber grips are nicer than the old. Style. I like the rubber. Uh, yeah. I like those grips. Yeah, I'm gonna get very heated cool. ones. I think though. But. Very, very. And cool. I'm thinking about different floorboards too. But it's all down the road. Right now, we're just gonna ride it, put miles on. That's right, guys. If you are still wondering if you're if you're gonna like this bike or not. Do let like Jerry go out, throw a leg over it. Test ride both of them. They let test me ride them. The dealer let me ride both of them. Yeah, same ride. day, boom. Um, I, I know uh, that they're they're gonna be doing demo rides mm -hmm. pretty soon in all dealerships as well. So take advantage of that. Throw a leg over the bike. Just try it out. That that's all. That's I'm the saying. worst. That uh, that's the worst could happen. You buy one. You buy one. That's it. That's it. Anyways, guys, like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. Peace. That was good. Yeah. So no, I really do love it. Huh? I really do love it. It's like, you said you don't have to do much to it.